Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Super Rare SE boxing shoes. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Super Rare SE boxing shoes. These retail for $139.95 on Super Rare's website. You can get them in two different colorways, like the red, black, and white like I have here, as well as blue, black, and white. These are made of a vegan leather upper with synthetic mesh, as well as a rubber outsole, and it does have a removable insole. Sizing-wise, you can get these as small as size 4 in men's, all the way to size 14 and they do offer these in half sizes. Now, this particular shoe is going to be a revised, and in my opinion, an improved version of the original Super Rare boxing shoes I did a review on a couple years ago. I had mine in all white. They also make them in all black. And while those shoes were really nice, they, there still was a little bit of an opportunity when it came to the comfort of the insole, as well as the width of the toe box. And at no surprise, that is the areas I feel that they improved with the most on the SE version of the shoe, along with the colorways uh, coming in red, black, and white, and blue, black, and white. So not only do you have the all black and all white with the originals, but now you have this red colorway, which looks really sharp. Um, so the biggest improvement, in my opinion, is going to be the toe box width. Now, historically, boxing shoes usually are kind of narrow fitting. Um, you know, there's a thought process behind that where with boxing shoes, you want them to be snug fitting because you do a lot of footwork, a lot of lateral movement, front and back movement, a lot of pivoting. So the last thing you want is to wear shoes that are a little bit too loose and then your feet start to shift around in your shoes and that's where you get blisters and a lot of discomfort. On the flip side of that, when shoes are too narrow, people that have white feet like myself, we often get discomfort in this area of the shoe right here around the outside edges and towards the toe box because it's too narrow. So that, that's a negative too, because if you wear the shoes and they're, just, they're, they're uncomfortable, then you're just gonna, not gonna wanna wear them, you're gonna end up removing the shoes and just going with something else. So I feel that Super did a fantastic job of opening up this toe box just a little bit more. And these really require no break-in period where the originals, I had to break them in a little bit for them to get more comfortable with these. There is no break-in period. Um, I got mine in size 11. I usually wear size 10 and a half just because I was still a little bit wary on whether or not they would be too narrow. But to be honest with you, these fit me perfectly, even at size 11. If I went to 10 and a half, it'd be a little bit more snug, but I still feel that the toe box area would be a perfect fit. So I feel like they hit a home run in that regard when it came to that. Now, the other obvious thing is gonna be the colorway. Design-wise, when you're looking at the shoe, I feel like this has a very contemporary look to it, meaning, in my opinion, it kind of blends an old-school look with a new-school look. You know, you have some of the Nikes that look more futuristic, the Nike boxing shoes, um, and then you have some old-school looking shoes like that Title Offers or uh, Top Boxer has his Tyson boxing shoes, which are very just simple, one piece of leather with an outsole, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing to them. I feel like these shoes kind of blend both, so you get a, get a look where it does look sharp, really from every angle. It is a mid-rise shoe, so it is not a low top and it's not a high top. To me, this is the perfect height for myself, and I think this is the height that most people like to go with because you still get the ankle support higher up with the laces, but it's not too high to where it becomes a hassle on a daily training basis where if you have high top boxy shoes, you have to go through the whole motion of, of, of taking the shoes off and putting them on and lacing them up, which can take uh, take longer than normal and most people just want to get in and out of the gym. Uh, so the, to me, the mid top is the way to go because you get the best of both worlds. Uh, and aesthetically, you know, speaking, I think mid tops just look better than a low top shoe. High tops look good as well, but I think they're kind of overkill when it comes to um, a daily training regimen. So I do like that mid top look of the shoe. Uh, also to mention the insole. So the insole is completely removable on the shoe. And you'll notice that Super did a really nice job of just putting a ton of padding here. So, you know, the outsole, outsole is about, I'd say three quarters of an inch in thickness that's made of rubber. Um, so that's gonna be where you got all your traction, your movement and your grip. But the insole to me is much improved than the original. You, you see there that it has a good amount of cushioning. You're looking at maybe almost an inch and a half of cushioning. So you have a denser foam on the bottom portion right here. 
and then you have a little bit more of a uh, kind of a uh, medium cushion feel and then you also have the little divots in there that gives you grip so depending on the kind of socks you're using um, you get a nice feeling of grip and you have these little ripples that allow your feet to really sink in into the insole and then whatever you're wherever you're moving if you're going forward backward side to side that gives you that lateral grip that you're looking for and the added cushioning is nice so if you plan on doing any kind of um, conditioning exercises that are a little bit more higher impact you know box jumps burpees something that's going to put a lot of stress on your legs your lower back and your knees these are a little bit more accommodating than the previous models or other shoes that have a very thin sole or don't let you replace uh, the insole on them. Now, would I still recommend these for just all out, um, you know, conditioning, training, box jumps all the time? I still would prefer to go with a, you know, a running shoe that's more cushioned or a training shoe that's designed specifically for that kind of training. But if you were to use these for sparring, maybe you have a day where you're, you're doing sparring, you're hitting the bag, you're doing conditioning, and your coach or your conditioning trainer wants you to do a little bit more high impact exercises, you can still feel confident that these will do a pretty solid job of protecting your joints and your knees and your lower back because of that extra cushioning. So I definitely like that added touch. The uh, vegan leather upper on here is very nice quality. Um, you do have everything embroidered in with the shoe. So there's nothing that's actually printed on the shoe. It does say super rare that's embroidered on that. Uh, the red upper almost has kind of a polyurethane shimmer like feel to it and it has almost like a tackiness to it. You'd also have the embroidered super rare logo, the skull logo on the back of the leg as well as in red and super rare you have the rubberized heel cup that comes up. It's very nice and hard on the back so you get that support that you need that gets that nice anchored feel when your foot is in the shoe. Uh, rotating to this side. You can see it does have that perforated vegan leather on the side, as well as that white stripe as red. It's kind of a crisscross design that looks really sharp. And then you also have uh, the lace holes right there. Uh, one improvement that would have been nice, but might have added weight. Uh, speaking of weight, these came in, I believe, right at 15.9 ounces. So just a hair under a pound for the shoes. They're relatively lightweight. Uh, would it be nice to have maybe some plastic uh, lace, lace holes rather than just a cloth to poke through? Uh, that way the laces sli slide through the holes a little bit more uh, easy uh, with the metal or plastic rather than just a uh, cloth hole that's pu punched out. But you do have the lace holes right there and they do have uh, kind of that little silver um, design that goes around it. I can't tell if it's silver or white. It looks kind of silver to me. Um, you do have the synthetic mesh for the toe box that gives you breathability as well as flexibility in the upper. And then you have the rubber outsole with the traction design right there. It has a kind of a herringbone pattern across the back to the midfoot area and then you have kind of that slanted design on the toe area where the ball of feet is for pivoting and staying on the toes of your feet or should I say staying on the balls of your feet. The tongue on here says super rare 2011 and you also have the black lace holder that holds the lace to the tongue so that the tongue doesn't drop into the shoe and then on the back side it does say Super Rare Fight Goods US 11. You also have the UK uh, and European sizing. New York, Los Angeles, SuperRareShop.com is their website. And then you also have that nice synthetic material on the inside. And that's good at wicking away moisture and, and keeping the shoe relatively breathable and lightweight. Nice red flat, flat laces with plastic tips. Um, I typically go up to about the third one down you can go all the way to the top when you lace your shoes up but this gives me enough length of lace to wrap the laces around my ankle i'll give myself a little extra support that's just kind of a personal preference of mine with this shoe nice clean white toe box for cleaning it i use a leather conditioner and a ma magic eraser to keep my shoes all clean so if you have a magic eraser those work amazing just add a little bit of water to them and it really removes any kind of scuff or dirt buildup on your gear it works really nicely so overall, I mean, you can see the shoes look fantastic. Um, I definitely feel these are a big improvement over the original Super Rare shoes. I think they look great. Um, comfort wise, man, they're pretty close uh, to the Adams V trainers. Now the V trainers have always been kind of my go-to boxing shoes um, in the past. I mean, there's other good shoes out there, but for some reason I just keep going back to my Adams. Um, and these might be right there with them. I feel like these do a fantastic job performance wise. They look good. Um, and most importantly for me, they feel good. And you know, if, if, if a boxing shoe is uncomfortable, then that's just really gonna take away from the other attributes of the shoe because you're not gonna wanna wear them. 
and with these I definitely feel that Supra really improved on their original. Um, hopefully they come out with other colorways that you can choose from. You know, cost-wise they're $139.95. You know, for a vegan leather, synthetic upper, the quality on this is really good. Uh, outsoles done very well. I do like the removable insole. I, de I definitely think it's fairly priced considering, you know, what Nike Hyper, Hyper KOs go for. And to me, these are a better shoe than those. I mean, obviously subjective people love their Hyper KOs and that's completely fine. But for people like me that have white feet, I would definitely pick these over those if you're compar uh, comparing a shoe that's kind of in that same uh, price range. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these super rare SE boxing shoes. I'll see you guys later. Take care.